Okay. So, so we're going to make a review of what we have done during the past weeks. Uh, this will be lesson number three. Uh, up until now, we're, we have uh, worked a little bit with the left hand pizzicato exercises and we have done some exercises with the bow. So we're going to have like a little review about it today. So here we go. Okay. Gary, can you... Let me see. The, you, you have been playing all, all the exercises that I told you, right? The, the left hand pizzicato, the... You have, doing, you have been doing the exercise on the bow, right? Mm -hmm. All those things. Uh, one of the things that, that I have done up, till, up until now is for her comfort, I had her uh, grabbing the bow uh, just here in this area where it's lighter and she can have a better idea of uh, how much weight can she put on, the, on her arm because uh, in the frog she will have the problem of dealing with more uh, bow weight so that will uh, make her do some unnecessary effort that we're trying to avoid okay so last week uh, we came to a point where we could play some scales so um now i'm gonna ask you to do um, for example g major that was the first one that we saw This is not a test, right, Mr. King? <laughs> you're doing it wrong but because what you're doing is you're too much worry on looking where the hand is right okay. instead of feeling like the, the sound that you need on it okay. instead of listening so what I'm gonna ask you is um, just to do that again if you want to look somewhere well you can look at yourself here actually if you need to look at your hand because I, I don't know if you can see yourself can you Which, yeah so just just relax and try to land the first note good like put the you play the g open and you put the a and then everything will come out yeah, so just relax this is not a stressful situation <laughs> this, this is fun Like how far each string is from the other one. Yeah, it's just something like 
<laughs> if, if you want to, well, we, we don't have to be in a rush. What you can do is you, you can just play a G, a, play G, A, B, and C, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, G, A, B, and C, mm -hmm. right? And you can stop and you can just slip your hand to the next oh, string. Like, okay. Just slip it. Just mm -hmm. like to the side, not forward nor backward, so just to the side. Mm -hmm. problem so that is great so now what we have to do is we have to prevent you from because when you start you start very well here and then because of the effort you start doing like this start playing like we oh, go like, like, uh, like this like up uh -huh. instead of like this so like my hand gets like yeah your hand starts to get it starts to get start to get it starts to get tense so you start to do it like that efforts that you don't need because okay. actually the only effort that you need is just put it in there and the way of your arm will do the work say this time is that you have to relax more your arm it's good it's mm -hmm. better but you have to just still relax. still relax it you can go even more you can go all like sorry mm -hmm. because you you are still like this a little mm -hmm. bit like this mm -hmm. you can still go like you need like here right mm -hmm. you can go like this and mm -hmm. fingers out right that, that's something that you can work on from now on that's really good. Yeah, you see, that's better. And it's, it's like more relaxed. Yeah, it's super relaxed, and and that it, it is funny because you you hear a loud tone of a cellist, and you're like, oh, he has such a strong arm. No, he has an arm. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's just putting it on, and, and he that's not what he put it. <laughs> yeah, he, he just know how to use his weight, not his strength, uh, right? So because actually, you can see. There's this cellist, his name is Joshua Roman, he's like 23, 24, he's a soloist and he's a skinny, super skinny, and he has this big tongue. So it, it, it's not on the, like, oh, I'm strong, no, it's just weight. Just weight on the weight, not weight. Yeah. Okay. Um, so having that in mind, <clears throat> I would like to, I would like to do an exercise with you today. I would like to learn another scale, but that this will be like your first scale in two octaves. But it's in the same position. We're not gonna move, right? So you don't have to worry like oh, I'm gonna go, and you don't have to worry about that because this, all this is like a unit, a, a, a unity. So don't worry about that. It's okay. Mm, so just play C scale up until the first octave. Okay. 
Did you have a good dagwa? It was easier too. <laughs> yeah, it was easier. I mean, it wasn't as in tune, but it was really easy. The last to... note was the only one that was mm-hmm. weird, but oh, the rest were really good. Okay. Uh, try not to force your pinky to do anything. Oh, it's okay. just there. <laughs> it's just going for the right. So okay. don't worry. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so now what you're going to do... Screen Now you're going to do... Oh, man. Wait. So now what you're going to do is you're going to keep going. You're not going to stop in that one. We're going to go to the D. Are you going to play E? Oh, we're in C major, right? Mm-hmm. So it yeah, will be natural. F natural. And if F sharp was with this on the G yeah. scale, it will be F natural. Like the second finger? And G, yeah. where it was? G. Natural, yeah. C natural, because that's C sharp. And there you go. That's two of the scale. mistake you can do the same exercise that we do what that we do that we did to not look not lose the how do i say this not lose the the, the idea of, of the position of the hand you can just you're for example in, in c uh-huh. right for example you're in c here uh-huh. let me show you you're in c here uh-huh. And you just okay, so I have to go to, to G, but then you stop, you know, A, and I have my hand here, so you go here, you know, this is E, and you put down your hand, and that's D. You see what I mean? Mm. For example, look. what I mean is this. <laughs> Take your time, this is E, put here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just take your time. You, th- this is not a race. So just D, D, A, and when you play the A, well, for now you play A, you stop, cross, this is E. With time, you're gonna go. Meanwhile, you're playing the A, you're going to make the, the, the shift, oh. right? The crossing. But for now, just go C, D, A. Change here. If you want to play the A, you can, or if not, no problem. You can play the A to know that that's an E, and put the hand down, and now you know that's a G. Just uh, you, you look a little funky. Wait. 
here. Um, is that height okay for you? Yeah. If you do okay, because we can change because that I remember that that one I did that I, that I set up, so you can set up yourself if you want. Okay. So remember the pinky. The pinky is, is doing like this, like uh, just remember. And, and try not to grab it from the that's what I'm trying to get up. That that's perfect. Now try to like roll um, around the, the, the bar and mm -hmm. touch the hair. Mm -hmm. But we are doing this, right? Because this is tension. Yeah. That's okay. That's be, that's the one. Yeah. you now because uh, there's nothing that you have to, to correct now because you have done it several times when you put your fingers down try not to let them this is what we call like a collapse finger yeah collapse finger yeah this is just try it doing like this on your arm for a while and you see that it's painful yeah it, it is. is painful I mean as this is not because this is more strong you're not you're not making an effort it's just your fingers just there and you just feel okay <laughs> okay now wait, wait stop now one thing another thing your hand is like, like this a little bit so mm -hmm. what I'm going to suggest is that you take out, leave the, the fingers where they are mm -hmm. and roll the tongue outside a little bit. So now your mm -hmm. hand is going to look more natural. Mm -hmm. I prefer that a thousand times. Mm -hmm. Remember to roll to the side. That's super, that's great. The hand looks great. Let's see how about the finish. <laughs> yeah. You know what happened there? No. You went too far with the with the four four uh -huh. finger. You you forgot about going to the side and you went a little Wait, bit up. Uh... So you end up doing like this kind of C C sharp thing in the mm -hmm. middle and then you did with your second finger, you did you, you played the B. But it was too hard already. No, and not only that, the B is played with the third finger. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because that's half half step. Yeah. Between C and B. Right. <laughs> That's that that was very good. The one that you were going to do and you were you were it. You came to a point where oh very relaxed and then again. <laughs> Just that one. Can you keep that one? I'll try. Or if you can't, it's no problem. Okay, now if you need help mm -hmm. to find your tuning, you need a C. You have a open C here. Remember the finger? Yes. Stop. That's the one. There's one thing, there's one thing you're doing. You're, you're skipping strings. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just you don't have to like wake, like take the whole damn hand up. You just take a little bit. You can put it back and you can slide it feeling the string. 
just for the feeling now we're, we're just trying to get the the mm -hmm. idea by the way the hand is low is way better now it's more natural it looks way mm -hmm. it looks way better actually yeah it does mm -hmm. is very deep so okay that's scaling two octaves so now before going on I, I want you to before reviewing the song that we tried last time I want you to try and we're going to try to do some arpeggios arpeggios yeah which are very easy and they give you a better idea of the scale too because if you land them you know that when you're going to play the scale those notes are going to be on plate right mm -hmm. so what you're going to do is we're going to try first with the g major scale mm -hmm. which is the first one so what would be the arpeggio for the g major scale mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we're going to try doing that so it will be g mm -hmm. an open string and then we have to play b which with Third finger? Exactly. And then we have to play D on what? Which is an open finger. Exactly. And then G with this fourth finger. Yeah. So very simple. So, okay, try, try one more time, I'm going to tell you something about it. You still try to go up and forward or a little bit, mm -hmm. but don't worry, that's an habit that you can get rid of. Yeah, just remember, try always going to the side. Yeah, not you're going like this, like for example, these are the strings, mm -hmm. right? Try going like this to the side, not like this. Yeah, it's just like rolling to the side. Simple. So can you try that same idea on D? Starting on G string on D string? D? Yeah, the same finger in but starting here. Mm -hmm. Is the problem there? 
first of all, I, I don't, I still don't know how far the streams are from it. I feel like I'm going too far, and then when I actually reach it, it's not in the same position that it was before. Yeah, it's not. There's not problem because, for example, we can let's try an exercise. Let's try. Um, you don't have to take off. Let's try not taking off the finger completely. So let's just try uh, on G string again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. B. That's way too far. Yeah. Remember. Try to look at you. Try to look at yourself in the mirror. That's good. Now don't take away the B. Let it and play the D. What is something on the way? Try to. If you're getting on the way of the fingers, then it's not cool enough. Okay. Now play the B, the G, sorry. Just put down the number four. Bring the other string. <laughs> Okay, no, that, that didn't work. Okay, so try it again. Yeah? But now lifting the finger. Sorry, in C. I think that one was gonna go work. Yeah. Remember, always to the right, to the side. Yeah, it's getting every time you do it, it's getting better, uh, smaller. The, the, the difference, yeah. yeah, the difference. So we're, we're on a good track. Mm, so try it in, in D. that gives you an idea of what you're doing wrong is that your finger your your tongue starts doing this mm. going like this right mm -hmm. so you have to keep your tongue like on the same like in the same place yeah because when when you go down with this with the hand okay. that's when you're changing notes that you should mm. That's another thing for you to practice. Uh, okay, can you do you remember the the twinkle twinkle little star thing that we did? <laughs> We're doing the G string, right? Yeah. Sorry. We're doing the G string, right? No, it wasn't the D one. Oh yeah, that's true.
this time it was the last time you did it, it was better because you started gaining con gaining conscious about the fact that you were letting your hand go down too much your right hand and when you do that you you get this this yeah. double stop thing that we don't need right so that was good um so can you try now playing every single note as a note like do i repeat every note yeah one and don't rush it. Just... practice more the the original melody mm -hmm. so you have the idea of, of how many notes do you have to play because you have you have this here of how many times you have to play each note, the same note okay. right mm -hmm. so keep the melody in mind because um, after i'm doing i'm still doing um you see what i mean mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. you the 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 like the the skeleton of the, of the mm -hmm. melody is the same yeah it's the same it's just that you're playing the same notes more times right but the melody doesn't change and the other thing that i'm gonna ask you is that you have to try to start always down both for now down both like no. exactly and because sometimes sometimes for example you start uh, Ta, 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 right, but sometimes you start ta, 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 ta. Oh, and it's so like it, this, it, is, it, this is down. Yeah. Yeah. This is up. Okay. Because sometimes if you start like that now, it will give you an idea. Ta, ta, ta. It will be like ta, 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 oh, ta, the ta, accent ta, is at this same place. Okay. Yeah, for now, <coughs> with time you will be able to do the accents mm -hmm. wherever you want. But now it, is kind of, it feels kind of like that. So that's what we're trying to avoid. Okay, so let's do it only the melody one more time. Yeah.
is down bow. Because sometimes you did up, but that doesn't matter. So practice the melody very well, and when you have it here in your mind, then you start playing with it. You start playing and doing it. Those things, right? Mm -hmm. um, for now, I think it's okay for today. So what we're going to do is uh, next week I'm going to bring you some some duets that we can do. Mm -hmm. That is a very cool duet that uh, the, the teacher does these melodies and you do it just like open strings or simple melodies and it works very well. Yeah, that's very entertaining. Okay. So that's that. Okay. Thank you, Gabby. Teacher, stop the... Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to continue here with our second recorded lesson for Gabby, which is doing great. She is. <laughs> so, okay. So up, uh, up until up until now we have until now we have covered uh, several things. For example, uh, I'm sorry, guys. We had the the whole idea with the bow holding it like uh, here for lighter for lighter uh, feeling but now we try to move it here just to get the actual one down on the frog right we're working on it because it's it's always complicated but we'll pull it through uh, so what we're going to review now we're going to review some exercises that we have done uh, by the 170 foundation studies that in this exact moment I don't remember the name of the of the uh, composer and uh, they have worked pretty well for the exercises that we have in mind uh, about bowing between the strings the strings uh, about the string crossing and the repeated notes in the same string mm. and we started working also <coughs> with some simple songs with the, from the Suzuki book which work pretty well for what we have to do. So, um, first of all, Gabi, let's let's see. Let's do like a little review of, of all we have done now. So the first thing will be, let's just grab the bow as... So I'm going to give you the bow and you're going to do... At the end or in the middle? A, as if we were starting. So in the middle. No, in the middle, the lighter part, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, please do exercise number one only up until measure eight, until this C. Mm -hmm. So one thing we, we have found out uh, while we were doing these exercises is that always at the beginning it's difficult to pay attention to two things at the same time. Um, so one example of it is I'm going to ask Gabby now to play a D major scale. to try the same exact thing but moving the bow the hand on the bow from here from the 
balance point, we're going to move it here to the row, okay? for something that we have been working on which is based entirely on the D major scale but now for the purpose of, of making it easier I'm gonna ask Gabby to play the piece uh, only with the bow in the, in the balance point not in the frog that will give her one thing less to worry about same note again uh, you have to land the, the finger in the same place because if not it's going to go out of tune gradually mm -hmm. and then if you go out of tune in your first finger the whole hand is gonna move and it's going to be like this domino effect um, okay how do you feel about that? I still don't know where to place this four finger thing like I have to like be all the time. You're doing pretty well. One thing that I would suggest, play again the, the same thing, play from from the D E F D E F D E F G. Squeeze the, the fingerboard mm -hmm. because just uh, grab the fingerboard mm -hmm. now. Squeeze it. You feel uh, something here? Yeah, okay. Now grab the fingerboard, mm -hmm. don't squeeze it, but just push with this. Not this, not this, this can stay here, but just like this. So, 
just push down. Like as if you were on a bus or something and you're just grabbing the toe, the toe just to not fall. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> do you feel that? No. Do you do you feel that? The same pressure, no. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a different pressure. Mm -hmm. It's a pressure that is downwards. It's like you're letting your heart, your arm, your arm weight to fall on the fingerboard, and that would be better than if you have this. If you have this this thing where you press here not only you're kind of hurting your finger a little bit because you're pushing like squeezing you know? because if you were trying to like i don't know bury the string on the fingerboard whereas if you do this you don't even need your tongue to play that like, you can play that with the weight is here but if you do this you're making even more weight on the top that you have to do on the string. Oh. So you're wasting energy in your hand and the, you're wasting strength, your strength that can go here to just clean yourself on the fingerboard. Right? So try it again and try to like, oh, sorry. Try to clean yourself on the fingerboard without doing any pressure. And if you can, I will recommend you that you try playing, and while you play, you try to start moving your finger. The thumb? Maybe trying to keep the pulse, maybe doing... It's difficult, mm -hmm. but not as difficult as you might think. Because you will do like... Maybe keeping the pulse. Pulse, but you have to see that your finger is just like that the finger is just free okay and, and maybe not completely away but just like moving a little bit just to show freedom of your hand which is the most important part position is not good for you, it has to be more more like that, right? Mm -hmm. it, is it, it's very good, but can you lift your elbow a little bit? Lift it up? Yeah, like that, like, like lift it to the back, like here, like that one. It's a repetitive note. Not Try to, to yeah, not to move forward. something while we were playing and you didn't realize I think no well originally we had the mm -hmm. bow here 
and then you have it here, mm -hmm. right? Last time when we did this, you were very worried about the keeping the inclination and keeping the like the strength of the bow. Mm -hmm. And this time you didn't. You the bow was very natural and it was more a worrying of the feeling than mm -hmm. very normal. Mm -hmm. So try try that. What is that? Try this part again. No, I'll tell you what I do. <clears throat> You were thinking about the jump and you just put the fingers down because the other time when you were just like here like looking at them they were like super close uh, they were like super close and they weren't right mm -hmm. and i know sometimes people say that it's normal and they have to look to check your fingers and but i think it's also a good thing not to look and just worry about some important or important things like oh mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so let me see. Let's just try it all together one more time. From the beginning? Yeah. exercises okay. yeah there's a special thing with you that the lower strings are much easier for you yeah much more easier which is really good
very good. One thing that I think that, that I, one thing that I think that has um, improved a lot is the um, the way you think when you move your arm. Mm -hmm. You know very well now where your elbow and your forearm and arm have to go when you keep it, when you're playing a particular uh, string which is very good because that helps your son a lot because if you have if you have the same the same uh, level of of arm mm -hmm. of this right yes, if you have this, that's a very important thing that you have now which i like a lot and sometimes when you're thinking about tuning, it gets on the way a little bit. So we're going to do the second exercise and I I will ask you to please think a lot because as you can see, it's all only with the first finger. So think very much that every single time that you land that first finger is the same note when you repeat it. For example, if you have an E now and three bars later you have another E, try to have that E in mind. And that is the same the next time you play it. That's why you have yeah. to always remember you always have to move your finger to the side, not to yeah, so not up or down, yeah. just to the side. Just if it's here, just here, 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 not like here or here. It's difficult, especially when you have the finger up in the air and to land yeah. in the same place. But don't worry, that's a thing that comes with practice. So we're we're try we're gonna try an exercise just for an experiment. Mm -hmm. You're going to do A B D, E, G, A, C, D. Like, that will be all with your first okay. finger. Okay. So play the A and get this the B very well. Play the B. Okay, leave the B, leave it there, mm -hmm. and play D. something in the last one I don't know if you realize it if you do it on purpose or it was natural. Do you know what it was? No. When you were going to play from G A to C D. No. On the other ones I ask you A B play the D E uh -huh. then play the G and uh -huh. then play the A. Uh -huh. And it turns out that when you were doing you did G A C, and when you were playing C, you started moving your finger towards the D, which is what you have to do eventually. Okay. But you did it so naturally that you can try doing it now. So let's just do that. 
A, C, B, no, A, C, D, F, G, B flat, oh, C. Oh, with the third finger? No, it will be, if it's C, natural, it will be second finger. But, remember, when you put second finger, yes. But you have to have two fingers. And this is the G, the C. Keep them in the place they are. Now there's two fingers that you have to deal with. So keep doing the exercise and you build it up until you have the all four fingers and you pass them in blocks. Like that? Yeah, until you pass the whole hand like in a block and mm -hmm. you know what it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I will make it way easier. So now we're going to try and do it this piece that is I think it's easier even than the French ball song. The thing is it has an A string that is always it's, it's not as easy as the other ones <laughs> to make it sound like nice, mm -hmm. but it's easy. So. Mm. Okay. There are 
two things that I want to tell you. First, um, it says here, keep the third finger down. Yeah, but like when I, when I do it, then it sounds weird. Like well, but that's, what do you think is, whose things, whose, whose fault do you think it is? My thick fingers. <laughs> no. no, actually I think my fingers are thicker than yours. Or, they're kind of the same. Actually, there are many shows that have even bigger or thicker fingers than us. So, um, it's not the point. The point is, if something is making a weird noise, it's... where do you go to check what's making the noise? The bow. Yeah, the bow is the one producing the noise. Right? So, if you play an A, mm -hmm. play A, for example. Play the A alone, mm -hmm. did it work? Yeah. And when you put the hand, it did it, right? Yeah. So what can you think that is? That I was touching. Yeah, because mm -hmm. probably your your hand is your hand is, is not uh, is not curvy enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a minor inconvenience here, so we're going to continue uh, recording in this other file. Um, so, let's see. Well, what we were talking about is the fact that maybe then is that the hand is not this curvy, cur curvy enough. It's not curvy enough. Mm -hmm. So we're going to work towards the idea of making it more, not curvy like this, mm -hmm. but like natural because your hand is natural look just put your hand like this this is the level of curviness that you have to have when you put your hands in the cello it's just the cello particularly the cello is like one of the most ergonomic instruments i, I think you can find because it's so normal you just sit you just put your hand here and you just pull your hand here and it's just so normal right it's not like a violin that you have to go like this or a double bass that you have to lean on it Right, so it's very, it's very comfortable, so let's take advantage of that. Um, okay, so try it one more time. because this gives you an anchor mm -hmm. and you know that okay this is E and if I put down the tree then it's F sharp right mm -hmm. and it's good but I need you to build up to a point where you just you just go on F sharp right it's not it's not hard at all if you know where the E if you can put your finger on E you can put your finger on C D sharp D whatever yeah. so I need you to work in that and remember keeping the the curvings, the curvings of your fingers, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do 
this. And the rest of the fingers are locked. In fact, one exercise that I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to do for the next uh, next class so we can work on it because it's going pretty well the ball is really good the only thing is you have to coordinate a little bit more the yeah the changes and, and not messing with the good thing not letting the left hand mess with the good thing that you're going you are, you are, that you're doing with your ball yeah, because everything is good I think so yeah thank you oh, okay so we have come to the final lesson of this 10, mm, ten, uh, 10 lesson cycle. Uh, what we're going to do today, because I think it's very proper, is like make a, a review, a review of what we have done. So we're going to start with the basics. Uh, um, we're going to go all through uh, the things that we have done. Mm, we have seen uh, good progress in some things. Unfortunately, because of the of the crazy schedule of the end of the semester, uh, some things have been left out for a while uh, because of the opera and all. But we we will try to make a review out of it so we can refresh all these things that we have learned. And so, okay. <coughs> so, Gabby, um, we're going to start. Let's go through all the things. So first. Uh, the, the things about the ball that I told you, remember so the, the, grab, the grabbing of the ball, the first thing that you have to do is uh, find your hand, and then put it here in a point of balance, and then go over it, and then you have to turn the whole arm, as you remember, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And try to get your fingers to be more curved, you know, so tip, yeah? And play a G string, for example. Mm -hmm. And now play a G and a D string. And remember, when you're doing the string changing, it needs a movement that you can do from your fingers too. Right? Go G and then D. Yes. Let's try that. That's what I was going for. For fingers to be more. More curving around it. Yes, that is way right there. It looks very good actually, you can see in the mirror yeah. over there. Um, okay, so we're taking the point of balance to avoid the problem of the the hand getting very stiff because he has to hold the ball, so we don't want it to get like this. So in the ball point in the balance point it will get more curvy. So we're going to incorporate now uh, the left hand. This is one thing that we work. Um, what we did is um, trying to find like a hanging sensation on, on the the fingerboard. What we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to put your thumb more with the pad, right, and your hand like a little bit pronated. Remember that it will be like kind of like this, mm -hmm. right? So your fingers have, will have more weight. So I'm going to ask you to do a G scale, a G major scale mm -hmm. with that idea. Very easy. Mm
for the other part. And second, uh, when you have that hanging sensation of, on the finger bone, it's not the fingers, not this, but it's not clinching with the fingers, but with the arm. This, as I as I think about it, it's like when you're on the bus, right? And you're just hanging right there, you're like holding yourself on the bus. Like it's this. like the weight of your Yeah, it's the weight of your arm. It's not, you're not, the bar of the ball when you're standing <coughs> on it, it's not, you don't grab it, you just hold to it and hold yourself and let your weight be the, the driving light. So, let's try the same. <coughs> exercise to keep the, the, the carving at the, this kind of C. Because I remember, I used to think that this is what I had to do. This kind of like a rabbit, I don't know. <laughs> but if you go like this, it's like a C, like a natural C. It's, it's the sh natural shape of your, of your hand. Because when you make a fist <coughs> and you open it, your thumb belongs with the index, yeah. not with this one. Sure. Right? So. You have to keep it as natural as you can. Mm -hmm. So, going into that, now we're going to do this exercise of the pizzicati. Mm -hmm. yes. Remember? Mm -hmm. Remember to keep core and just have your tone as relaxed as you can with the pad. And go like this, just to remember how is the core is sensation. And you can look yourself in the, in the mirror if you want to. Or, I'm going to ask you to do something like this. Do the same, but go go like this, but with the arm. Like you here, mm -hmm. like remember that you have to turn it mm -hmm. and go with the arm like this, right? Don't go with the wrist. Go with the arm. Okay. And I'm also like pulling it. Yeah, just pluck there. Go for it and then move. go with the arm, and when mm -hmm. you get there, pluck and then go back with the arm. Okay. idea. So, having that in mind, we're going to try today something that I wanted to try with you for a while, mm -hmm. and that is going up to here in this area of playing. So it will be very easy. You see? So we're going to do a G major scale. So we start playing a G major scale. <coughs> Just did and go down with your arm, not wrist. 
and let everyone but the first finger. And then third finger F sharp, fourth finger G. And one thing that you have to do, you have to try to pronate it, keep that to do a better way. Because if you go, that's something that I have to, that I go too much like this, and you lose balance, you lose, wait, this, this, big, this finger <coughs> is as weak as it is. Mm -hmm. So you have to help me. As you can try to keep your bow hair on it, not much like this because uh, it will, uh, will start sounding like kick. Okay. So, do you remember the, the, the D major scale is the same thing as the D major? Can we go for it again? D? D major, yeah. Mm. We're going to go with this one first. No one? Yeah, number one. Or, no, you don't have number two. Number one is too long. Yeah. This one will be better. <coughs>
have the feeling of where the ball should go on the string, right? Mm -hmm. How is the angle of your arm mm -hmm. for, for the string playing? And what we're going to do now is having in mind that angle, we're going to play the French folk song that is from the Suzuki book that is completely based on, mm -hmm. on the D major scale, okay? So, Mm. Oh, wait. Mm. Yeah, relax your shoulders, okay? as calm as you can. What do you notice different from the last time we did that? The, the scale going down was easier? Yes. Yeah. 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 Why do you think that was? I think, well, my fingers were closer to the board this time. I feel like last time I was like, yeah. my fingers like too far, so I was always like too, where I was. Yeah, that is true. That, <coughs> you're going helping a lot because now you have clearer sound mm -hmm. so you're not you're connecting more the notes so that mm -hmm. helps you a lot to stay in shape yeah right which is very good i'm very happy about that <laughs> uh so i want you to try the lightly roll that we tried one time uh -huh. it's, it's easy i think even when the branch falls down it's not as, as sequential but it has very new Simple thing. <coughs> so just give it a try. Just give it a try to the just the first but the first uh, the first line. The first line. <laughs> <laughs> Because I remember we tried that one time. No, I couldn't go farther than the second line. Yeah, it was <laughs> super. Actually, it sounded very good. Let's try the second line then. This is the same thing. It's basically the same thing, but there are some notes that change a little bit. Okay. Not that much. Thank <laughs> you. 
Change the ball and you change the music because you're writing a beat that is not there. So, yeah, aside from that, everything's good. So, the thing is now, here comes the tricky part because I want to try the same things, but we already tried this, it's just part of the review part that we're doing. I wanted to make it here, mm -hmm. and now we're going to try it on the floor. Right? Mm -hmm. The ball is like, it's not weight anything, a few ounces. Just Let's just find a way of keeping this feeling that you have here so relaxed mm -hmm. by having a lot of here. It comes natural, right? So, how are we going to do that? We're going to do it gradually. Right We're not going to just throw yourself away mm -hmm. in the crowd. So, taking and turning a little bit. Go and get the. Yes, now turn your arm. Arm. No, that was wrist. <laughs> uh, just move around with your arm, that is better. Hold the fingers, not stiff because they won't get you anywhere. And then slide. You can have with it's your It's like hand sticky. Hand. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit sticky because of the rubbing. Uh -huh. Sorry <laughs> So, I remember the strongest part of your hand is this, the weakest is this, mm -hmm. the, these two fingers, they're so weak that they kind of like live without each other, these are very independent, so try not that your hand doesn't go to, doesn't go to the right, so you won't go, like this, yeah, more like that, more pronated, over there, yeah, mm -hmm. so let's just try, wait, no. let's just try, um, let me see, let's just try this exercise, but up to, up to here, no, sorry, no, up to here, you can do First line only? First line, I'm trying to think, no, sorry, try up to here, yeah? <coughs>
feel pressure, tension? Or no, I just feel like I wanted to like. Yeah, yeah. Push my 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 shoulder up. Yeah. So I was like, no, go down. Yeah, we will do. Do very good. So now we're going to do. <coughs> I want you to do uh, a C major scale with two octaves. I don't know if you remember that one. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna be your like, you know, mm -hmm. tell me what you have to do. So just play the C major two. C major one octave, and then after it, I will tell you how to do it. No, don't, don't, don't <laughs> wait. Uh, when you're trying to look for weight, don't go like this. That's yeah, a mistake. That's, right, that's, that's right. a common mistake. No, <laughs> go like, like. Don't don't go. It's like trying if you're trying to press here, mm -hmm. right? And you go like this. No, no not to go. Like <coughs> that, okay. That is very good. That is super. Keep your your. Do you say this? Keep your focus in both things at the same time, because it's very complicated to just. If you start <coughs> caring only about this hand, this hand will be a mess. If you care only about this one, it's actually it's funny. If you care more about this one, this one comes out more natural. So I I want you to give it a try to these two exercise, two uh, songs. That position on the ball.
Yeah. Uh, no, you're gonna try to lightly, lightly roll, but try this one to make it. As, as you get better at things, you start to realize that you have to take care of more things. It's funny. Mm -hmm. As you know, more more problems, more problems come along. Come along. Uh, come along. So what we're going to do is say, I want you to do it, the lighting roll, but I want you to think about the ball not going so much up to the yeah, like have you been, yeah no, not middle. closer to the bridge. We don't need like a sound now. We need just like a firm sound. Because if it goes up to here too much, you won't, you won't have a, like a, a nice sound. That would be a good place. Yeah. Kept your arm in the position that it showed. So, that's so it's a shame we have to end. <laughs> but it was very, it was very good, very refreshing because you, you very, maybe because you're a musician already, this very, this very comes very natural for you. A lot of stuff, which is very good. The others are just like muscular things that would practice, would come along. Um, yeah. So. I think that's a good review of what we've done. We've done some other exercise that wasn't worth it, like, to see them, to, to like, review them today. But this is, like, basically what we did, so. Thank you. Thank you. Mm.